With our show settings in place, we can move on to creating a new episode. And it's best to create a new episode first before moving on to destinations. Places like Apple and Spotify, they require you to have at least one published episode. And while it only takes one episode to be accepted, a general best practice is to launch with three episodes. The first one might be your trailer and then two additional episodes. Publishing a new episode in Libsyn is super simple and it uses one form. We can create a new episode by simply clicking on the new episode button in the upper right hand corner. This button is on all pages within the system. So whether you're on the settings page, stats, or the main dashboard, you can immediately create a new episode. Click or drag your media file over to the update media field. Some editors create a metadata associated with your audio file. This data accompanies the file if the media file is downloaded. These pieces of data are called ID3 tags. And while this data is completely optional, if you previously created ID3 tags, we can pull them into Libsyn if you want Libsyn to add the ID3 tags to your file. Click here. Once your media file has been uploaded, you'll want to fill in the information, including the episode title, description, author field, Apple podcast title, episode type, season, and episode number, as well as noting whether your episode contains explicit material or not. It is important to note, explicit podcasts may be excluded from some international destinations. In the description field, you can speed up your show notes workflow by using the snippets feature. Snippets allow you to paste pre-crafted elements of your show notes that reoccur on a regular basis. They can range from calls to action, contact info, sponsor spots, or even a show notes template. Snippets are a huge time saver, and as a Libsyn customer, you have an unlimited number available to you, regardless of your monthly plan. You are going to love them. Click on the Snippets button. In the pop-up, you can either create a new snippet to use or select from previous snippets. Click on the desired snippet and it will automatically be pasted into your description field. To the right of the page, you'll find the episode specific artwork section, which allows you to upload square and widescreen images that are tied specifically to an episode. If no artwork is uploaded to this section, it will default to your show's artwork. Remember, that episode artwork must be square with a minimum size of 1400 by 1400 pixels and a maximum size of 3000 by 3000 pixels with the file size staying under 500 kilobytes. If you publish to YouTube or Facebook, you can upload widescreen specific artwork by either clicking or dragging on the file to the box under upload episode widescreen artwork. This artwork should be 1920 by 1080 pixels. And just like with our show artwork, we can also create our episode specific artwork inside Libsyn by using the Canva integration, just as we did earlier. Click on the design art with Canva button. This will open up Canva, which you can either log in if you have an account or create one for free. Select from the podcast templates and start designing your artwork. Once you have created your artwork, click on publish to push it to your episode artwork field. If you need to edit your artwork, click on the same button to return to Canva. Once you have finished creating your episode, you have a few options for publishing. With the publish field set to now, click the save button to automatically publish to all your destinations at once. With the publish field set to schedule, Choose the date and time when you would like to publish your episode. With the publish field set to custom, you can specify scheduled release times for specific destinations. You also have the option to save the episode as a draft by unchecking publish at the top. Congratulations, podcaster. You just created your first new episode. Our next step is to choose our show destinations.